Why can Spider-Man not swing on the shield helicarrier, but Daredevil can? And what is with this weird ATM placement? How are people meant to get in the restaurant? Today, we are going to be looking at 50 things that really do not make sense in the LEGO Marvel games. We all know what happens when Sandman gets hit by water. He basically turns into mush thanks to Spider-Man 3. So how come Sandman can swim in this game? But what about when he is a sandcastle? Oh, now that makes sense. Now, this next one actually really frustrates me. How come every time the game shows Grand Central Station in a cutscene, you can see the famous clock on it, yet in the free roam, it is nowhere to be seen? Stark Tower is one of the most iconic buildings going, especially in LEGO Marvel, but it does have some very questionable architecture, like seriously, what is the point in this window? Why are all of the parks in New York City broken? This really does not make any sense. Is there a villain out there destroying children's parks? Mysterio, what is the next step in your master plan? Destroying all of the children's parks. <laughs> How come when Deadpool, Wolverine and Stanley die, their skeletons still have facial hair and Deadpool's mask is his skull? Shouldn't it just be a regular skeleton head? New York City in Lego Marvel Marvel superheroes looks completely normal and natural on the surface, but if you take a closer look at the buildings, you will notice something odd. The reflections in this game are completely off. What makes this even weirder is how some of the reflections have buildings in them which do not appear in the city at all. Is this another one of Mysterio's illusions? How come every single fire ability in this game turns Johnny Storm into the Human Torch, yet when you stand in fire with Johnny Storm, you don't become the Human Torch. Is the Statue of Liberty alive in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, and why is it alive? Now, this one hasn't made sense for many years, and probably never will. And what is so creepy is we know Magneto is not controlling her like he does in the story, as Mr. Fantastic does hint that the statue is actually alive in the level taking liberties. Here, have a listen. I don't get it. How did that burn a metal statue's hand? I actually have a theory about it. I guess it will never ever make sense. Is the statue alive or not? What is wrong with Venom in this game? We know that he has two major weaknesses, fire and loud noises, and he does react to the human torch being near him, so how come he never reacts to Black Bolt's scream? I mean, this is one of the loudest things in the universe. I wanna scream and shout and let it all... Oh, come on. I want to see bald Eddie Brock again. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. <laughs> There is so much money lying on the streets in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, and what is really strange is how the civilians are aware that there is money on the street, as suggested by this voice line. Who keeps leaving these trails of money around? So why are they not picking up the money? Are they all mega rich? Hello, I'm wondering if someone can help repair my TV. Well, do not worry, Damage Control is here to fix it. Yeah, this makes no sense. Why can Damage Control not repair stuff, but he has a magic brush. What is he the god of? God of cleaning? Wolverine has a hidden secret ability in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes that really does not make any sense. So if you find a broken car in New York City and target it with Wolverine and let go, Wolverine magically repairs the car. This also works with Sabretooth Beast and Black Panther. When playing as Iceman, you instantly freeze enemies or players, causing them to turn into giant ice cubes. So explain to me why in the story does it take Iceman forever to form structures from ice? We even see him do it instantly in a cutscene too. Is Agent Coulson still alive in LEGO Marvel Avengers? We know that this game follows the first two Avengers films and in Avengers 1, Agent Coulson does die. But in the LEGO game, we see him still alive. He basically pretended to die just to get a vacation off Nick Fury. What is with this weird character? shop in Lower West Harlem. Whenever you go near the building, you simply fall through the map. Did nobody test this? This is the Baxter Building, the home of the Fantastic Four, and I really want you to remember how this building looks, because if you stand on top of the Baxter Building and look through the glass of the Baxter Building, what do you see? Yeah, you see a reflection of the Baxter Building on the Baxter Building. No, 
Now, in terms of the LEGO Marvel timeline, we know LEGO Marvel Avengers is not connected to the overarching story across LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 1 and 2 because LEGO Marvel Avengers is based on the films. However, there is something within LEGO Marvel Avengers which completely goes against this and it makes little to no sense. So throughout the city, you can find numerous TV audio stores which are broadcasting the events that took place within the first LEGO Marvel game, more specifically, Sand Central. So I guess LEGO Marvel Avengers is canon to the LEGO Marvel timeline. I mean, it's never going to really make any sense. And to further complicate things, what happens to the X-Men and what is really weird is how you can find a portrait of Professor X in LEGO Marvel Avengers, yet everything about the X-Men is totally missing. This is the exact same portrait you see in the X-Mansion. Also, hello, hello, hello there guys, I am Rugged Eagle and if you love LEGO games, why not subscribe and join my Discord server, we talk about all things LEGO games down there and if you have gone to enjoy so far, a like would be so appreciated. Thank you so much. Anyway, let's get back to it. This is the Lizard, aka Kurt Connors, and the whole reason why he became the Lizard was to regrow his hand. Even though he is made out of Lego, he could just simply stick one back on. So how come even though Kurt Connors has one hand, he can effortlessly climb ladders and hold on to bars with no issue, even pulling himself up? Now, whenever you transform into a big fig character, you always see that the shirt gets ripped apart. So how does it magically reappear when I transform back. Shouldn't it at least look like this with some rips in it? And if you are wondering how to get this really strange version of Stan Lee, simply turn into Stan Hulk on the shield helicarrier lift and then voila. Where are these vehicles coming from? Like, they appear to enter Manhattan from these bridges which lead out to the other islands, but we know that the bridge is closed. So where are the cars coming from? There is something else about these bridges that never made sense to me, and that is how the NPC in this game are also aware that there is nothing past the bridge, as suggested by this voice line. There's nothing over there. So is Manhattan the only island and why can we see the other islands if there is nothing over there or are we living in a simulation? Mysterio! <laughs> Anyway, there are tons of electrical characters in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. You have Doctor Doom, Electro, Force, Storm, all who deal electrical damage to enemies. Then there is Herbie, and all Herbie can do in this game is fire out electricity. So why does Herbie not deal electrical damage, and why can Herbie not do electrical charges? In the level Rock Up at the Lockup, Maria Hill states that Strikers Island Penitentiary is one of the most secure places on the planet. It. And well, yes, it has to be, because this is the prison responsible for holding Magneto, Abomination, Carnage, Stan Lee, what? Eh? So then, why is the prison yard left wide open for prisoners to escape? Look how many prisoners are out here. I guess there's only one way to handle this. Time to turn your life sentence into a death sentence. Seriously, this does not make any sense. I literally completed the entire story, took down all of them bad guys and just because they cannot put up a fence, they all escape again. Why is it that every time we see Dr. Octopus in the story, he is always climbing up buildings, yet when we play as Dr. Octopus, he suddenly forgets how to climb up buildings? I guess he got butterfingers. Before Spider-Man PS4, this has been joked upon for so many years. What are Spider-Man's webs attached to, especially when he is out in the middle of the sea? Is it attached to the clouds? Even LEGO Marvel superheroes itself jokes about this in the opening cutscene of the level that sinking feeling. Don't tell me. You got here on a really long spider line. Uh, no. What is with this really strange bench placement in the lower west side of New York City? This is seriously unsafe. Who is sitting up here and why are they no supports? You are literally overlooking a dangerous fast road. What if poor old Aunt May wants to come up here for a lovely sit down and then, oh no, Peter! I mean, yes, there is no fall damage in Lego games, but 
we got to be logical here. How come all of the basketball courts in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes have gigantic basketballs made for massive buff dudes? What if poor old Timmy wants to play basketball? Does he need to bulk up with protein shakes? I mean, he cannot use the parks because they're all broken, so what is he meant to do? Why is it that every time we see the Statue of Liberty in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, it has the iconic skirt piece? However, in the level where Magneto controls the the Statue of Liberty, she now has a pair of legs. But did you ever notice in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, there is a post credit scene of them rebuilding the Statue of Liberty after Magneto destroyed the statue? I mean, Captain America is not going to be a happy chap about this one, but they rebuilt the Statue of Liberty facing the wrong way. Like, did nobody check how it was before? So, Mystique in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes has a disguise for everything. When she's on the Shield Helicarrier, she becomes a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent and when she's in New York City, she becomes a policewoman. So why is it that when Mystique is at Roxxon, she does not become a Roxxon guard? I mean, the Roxxon guard is in the character roster. How come Kang the Conqueror cannot use technology in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2? This literally really frustrates me because it makes no sense. As Kang the Conqueror has no superhuman abilities, he is just a genius who is really great with technology, so why can I not use technology? I mean, he can in LEGO Marvel Avengers, and because of this, I had to place him on my top 20 worst LEGO Marvel characters list, and if you want to check that video out, there'll be a card up there and a link at the end. Why is it that in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, all of Carnage's webs appear red, like when he is swinging around the city or attaching himself to walls, but when he wraps up an enemy, it's just a regular web? Shouldn't it be red? I mean, we do not have this issue with Venom. That's because I'm better. I mean, yeah. Yeah. What is with this closing down sale sticker on this Wakanda sign near Fisk Tower in New York City? Is Wakanda having a massive sale? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna get myself some cheap vibranium. Does Mario exist in the LEGO Marvel games? More specifically, Mario Kart, as Johnny Storm makes a subtle reference to Rainbow Road in the game. Something about that big Rainbow Road. Looking at it, I just feel like I want to race! Now, this could purely be coincidence that he wants to race down the bridge at Asgard, or is he simply referring to Mario Kart? I guess we will never know. Why is it that in LEGO Marvel Avengers, they got rid of the Fogwell sign on the gym? Like, Daredevil is in this game, and this is the gym that Daredevil trains at, so was there any need to get rid of Fogwell's gym? Now it is just called... Jim. There has been so many musical ability characters across the multiple LEGO games, but there is one in LEGO Marvel Avengers that really does not make any sense, and that is Louis from the Ant-Man DLC. So, if you hold down the circle button, Louis will start to whistle, but he doesn't play an animation, it just plays the sound effect. It is really weird and strange. Have you ever noticed in LEGO Marvel superheroes, the civilians just endlessly walk around forever. Like, there are restaurants and you never see them sat down. And yes, I get it, they are just simply NPCs, but in all of the other LEGO games, normally the NPCs have some characteristics. It doesn't make sense why they do not in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. Like, what is the point in all of these benches if they do not use them? Everyone is just walking around constantly. LEGO game characters are aware that they have four hearts. This one is really weird, so in both LEGO Marvel Super Heroes and Avengers, whenever it shows inside of Iron Man's helmet in a cutscene, you can see in the top corner that it shows four hearts. So, are LEGO game characters aware that they have four hearts? There is a building across from the X Mansion which has a completely useless path. Seriously? Take a look. Why would anyone take the other path? I mean, it's not exactly a design feature, as from above, it's not even symmetrical with the other side. What is with the souvenir shops in the LEGO Marvel games? These can be found scattered across numerous locations in New York City, and they look completely normal, selling Marvel tops and Iron Man helmets, Wolverine tops and Fantastic Four merch, but due to the Fantastic Four not being in LEGO Marvel Avengers, they had to switch that top out, so why did they decide to replace 
face it with Black Widow's torso. It's not even just her top. It still has the things on them. It's literally just her torso. Why is there a bunch of lifting equipment on the basketball court? <gasps> I get it now. It's probably so you can buff up to lift them gigantic basketballs. What is with the hot dog vendors in Lego Marvel Superheroes? They literally place their hot dog stands anywhere. This one has to be my favourite. No wonder Bruce Banner turned into the Hulk. He probably ate a hot dog from this guy. Why would you sell hot dogs behind a nuclear power plant? And look at this guy. I mean, all the best to you, mate. Good luck finding customers on a roof. Now, if you watch a lot of my LEGO game videos, you probably knew this one were coming. Why is Absorbing Man called Absorbing Man when he cannot absorb anything? In the Upper West Side of New York City, there is a burger in the wall and what is with this really strange bench placement? Why would anybody want to stare down this boring wall? Who exactly is Venom in the LEGO Marvel games? In the level where you fight Venom, there is a brief moment where you can see beneath the symbiote and all you see is a simple face. Now, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes takes a little bit of influence from the Ultimate Spider-Man TV show, which aired around the time this game came out. And there are a lot of variations of the Ultimate Spider-Man characters. And in that universe, Venom was created by Dr. Octopus using Spider-Man's DNA at Oscorp. Eventually, the symbiote escapes Oscorp and bonds with Flash Thompson and then Harry Osborn. And judging by the third level of the game, it looks like Venom was created at Oscorp. So that leaves the question, who is Venom? Is it Flash, Harry or Eddie Brock? Now, yes, in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, it does state that Venom is Eddie Brock, but between the events of the first and second game, it might not have attached himself to Eddie yet, and it could be Flash or Harry. But I guess we will never know, and it will never truly ever make sense. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. A like would be so appreciated if you have gone to enjoy, and why not check out some of my other LEGO game videos? Adios.